Aries, what's poppin'? It's your boy in from Cancer Moon's Tarot coming at you guys with your July 15th through the 30th love tarot reading, all right? Let's see what's going on for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aries, messages may or may not resonate to you. If they do not resonate, the message is not for you, all right? Let's keep it poppin', baby. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aries, July 15th through the 30th. First card, mutual energy between you and another person. Second card is you, Aries. Third is who you're dealing with within your love life. And the fourth card is the outcome, all right? Let's see what's happening here, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you have any, if you have any Aries, anywhere in your chart feel free to watch the reading all right last shuffle let's see what's happening here okay sun moon rising in venus aries mutual energy between you and another person is the moon card things from the hidden can be dealing with the pisces there are things that you two do not know about each other there's things the other person doesn't know about you and there's things you don't know about the other person is what i'm seeing here okay aries i feel like you keep a watchful mind or a um, watchful mind, a watchful eye on somebody, definitely somebody very pretty, okay? You're looking at somebody, you're like, ooh, I like them, like, they're very cool, okay? You're dealing with somebody here who I feel is very confident in the way that they are. Uh, I don't want to say a fuckboy or, like, a fuck girl, but you're dealing with somebody who's very confident in the way that they look, very comfortable in their skin, you know? They are single, they are fine being where they are at, and they, you know, they're genuinely doing well, you know? It's not somebody who doesn't have many insecurities, okay? Uh, somebody who's very confident, and I feel like you're keeping, you know, a watchful eye on them, and you're looking at them, and you're like, whoa, like, you know, this is a beautiful human. Um, as for the outcome, devil in reverse, I'm seeing you trying with this person, you're trying, the thing is that it's a mystery who you're connecting with. You're connecting with Mr. Mysterious. I don't know why. Definitely big Pisces energy. Um, you're connecting with somebody you don't know too much about. It's almost like you looked at this person on Instagram and you were like, whoa, that's, that's this person's amazing, but I don't know anything about them. Um, the thing is that for the outcome, you're trying to dodge a bullet with anything negative or anything toxic. So the thing is that you're trying to find more information on this person is what I'm seeing here overall. All right. You're trying to get more information on somebody just to see if they're a good fit for your life is pretty much what I'm picking up on Aries. All right. Let's see what else is going on for you guys. July 15th through the 30th. Interesting though, because this isn't even like you're in a relationship with someone. It's just like you found someone new. Um, you know, and, I'm, and I don't know why I keep seeing it like Instagram, like you're on Instagram looking, it doesn't have to be that, but you know, you want more information on somebody you're interested four of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're dropping things. You're letting people go. This is definitely more so the energy where, uh, you know, you're trying to find somebody that's completely new to you. You know, you're tying down, you're looking for commitment is what I'm seeing here overall. Okay. Now here's the good news. You, I can see it here. This is for the Aries who recently got out of a relationship, okay? You are looking for commitment, and that is all you are looking for. That is all you will communicate for. That is all you will all you will bargain for, per se, okay? You want a relationship, and I feel as if some of you will be moving into a relationship. Now, you released a lot of people, and you are done trying to tame relationships, especially with somebody that wanted to come back to you or somebody you wanted to come back around to. You are done trying to fix broken relationships is what I'm seeing here, okay? You're ready to look forward and move forward with somebody new, which is good. You are looking for a new relationship is what I'm seeing here, especially with that Two of Cups energy, and you are looking for a commitment in this time period. So I'm feeling like you're letting somebody go looking for somebody new, okay? I feel like it made you unhappy to stand your ground. Um, it made you really unhappy to, you know tell people to back off or it made you upset that you had to get to a certain point that you did you could have snapped on a person especially when you had to let the other one go um whatever it was i feel like you didn't want to snap on this person but you know you had to speak up and say what you needed to say and it did bother you you know it did bother you letting this person go but what i am seeing here is that you know you closed out a cycle with somebody and now you've met somebody new that you're keeping an interesting eye on okay you're keeping your eye on somebody all right and you really want more information about them let's see what else is going on for you July 15th through the 30th. Ooh, Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay. Some of you here are avoiding situations dealing with a cheater. Um, somebody here, if somebody did cheat in a connection with you, they are feeling guilty and an apology can be coming on the way. But I think you're avoiding people in general that you feel are going to cheat on you now this is why you're trying to get so much information on whoever the nine of pentacles is you're trying to get a lot of information on this person because you want to make sure they're not a cheater yeah you can be very confident and you can be a very confident person in yourself but you know sometimes that can fall a warning sign if they're conceited doesn't mean they're conceited but if you view them as that that can be a warning sign so i feel like that's why you want more information because you're not looking for somebody to cheat on you you're looking for somebody that's normal or not not necessarily normal loyal is the word okay nine of swords i'm seeing here you're overthinking a lot about the situation but you're trying to manifest a situation with them okay is what i'm seeing here let's dive, let's dive in a little deep on this person whoever is representing the nine of pentacles that you guys want more information on let's see what's going on with that 
with this person, what you'll discover from the 15th through the 30th. So in this time period, I think you're gonna I think you're gonna discover to trust your intuition because something's telling you to check this person out, okay? There is a lot of mystery around this person. There is a lot of secrecy around this person, but what I'm seeing here overall is Queen of Swords in reverse, you know? They are a person who kind of cuts through the bullshit. There aren't really a person who necessarily lies. There isn't really much deceit there. Um, it's just a person that's very open, very blunt, um, doesn't really have a problem with saying how they feel and what they need to say. You know, they're not very isolated either. There's somebody who's pretty out there. Some of you here are like dealing with like a, like a, like a, like a real like Instagram model. I don't know what it is. Um, this person is out there. This person isn't isolated. This person isn't um, an extrovert or, or, or an introvert. Sorry, they're an extrovert. You know, they're out there, you know, as what I'm seeing here. These are things you're going to learn about this person. What else do we have for them? as well as two of swords you know there are people that make decisions now the thing about the decision uh, everyone makes decisions like oh that's so descriptive uh the thing about with this two of swords though is that you know they're on a path in life and they're at a point of confliction is what you'll learn about this person um especially where they want to go in their life excuse me some of you are dealing here with a really younger person um but what i'm seeing here is like you know, they're at a point of confliction to where they don't know if they want to go here in life or want to go there in life. It's usually related to what they want to do when they grow up, if that makes sense. Like college-wise, like after college-wise, is kind of what I'm seeing here. It can even be job-related, business-related, whatever it is. We have a flipper. Oh, but here's the thing, though. That's good. Oh, this is good. The person that you want more information on, though, if you don't respond to, if you, if you hit them up, or, or you don't hit them up, they're going to hit you up, okay? Communication is coming from them. So you are going to talk to them. You are going to discover a lot more about them. And what I'm seeing here is that they're an intimate person. They're a person with a lot of passion. So there will be room for expansion and growth between you between you and this person, which is good. Um, it can be a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo, or specifically a Sagittarius. <clears throat> now, what I'm seeing here between you two is that even though there's expansion and growth and there's passion, this can evolve into a really good point between you two. All right, because the Ace of Wands can be a new beginning. All right, this may be be a new beginning for you, but like I'm saying, you're looking for new relations right after a breakup. Okay, Aries. So this new person that you're coming into, so far so good. Not seeing anything negative. Not seeing any warning signs. I am seeing that <clears throat> they will be responsive to you. They will talk to you, and you will learn many more things about them after you drop this new person. Now, if there's any warning signs between this new person they're meeting, please give me any energies present that we should be aware of. Okay star in reverse now here's the thing <clears throat> can be an aquarius you're meeting the thing is is that whoever this person is that you are running into can they be a soulmate yes but are they everything you ever dreamed for no is what i'm seeing here okay because they are not your initial dream person you may be very attracted to them on a physical plane maybe even on a soul plane too but they're not the ideal person it's almost like they're not your type kind of is what i'm seeing here aries okay and five of cups in reverse little do you know they are moving on from somebody as well okay so they're moving on from a situation you're moving on from a situation and more so seems like a karmically tied situation you move on from someone they move on from someone you two meet each other instantly you click okay teaching each other a lesson having new love here with that ace of cups energy is what i'm seeing here <clears throat> new lessons many blessings i now i don't like what i don't like hold on what i don't like here aries getting a very intuitive feeling especially the coughs the coughs that keep coming um between you and this person you both are moving on now i'm not saying you both are using each other to move on but <clears throat> somebody here can be doing that and you need to be aware see how my throat chakra my throat chakra is closing um see and you need to be aware of this person um that you're getting more information on because if you guys start talking it's like, yeah, we both moved on from each other, you know, moved on from other people. That's fine. That's cool. It's, it's a lesson. And every relationship is a lesson, but this is a hard lesson that this person is going to teach you. Um, because I already see that it's not going to end up in like a marriage um, or anything like that. It is just a karmic relationship. Now, that doesn't mean don't go for it. It doesn't mean avoid it. If you want to avoid it, avoid it. But it doesn't mean avoid it because every lesson is a blessing because you learn things. Um, this person is going to teach you a lot and it's going to help you heal a lot from your previous relationship. Uh, that's what karma does. It helps and invites in a lot of healing is what I'm seeing here between you and this person. There's a lesson on the way. There's a karmic connection on the way. I've never had a reading like this, honestly. Wow, Aries. 
Anyways, if this resonates with you, I don't think it's going to resonate with every Aries in this entire world. But if it resonates with you, let me know down in the comments below. If it does not, don't worry. Message wasn't for you. Guys, thank you so much for coming out. Truthfully appreciate that. I'll catch you guys in August. And let me know how this goes. Because this was interesting. All right, Aries. Catch you guys later. Peace.